Hey ladies, so welcome back. So today we're going to be doing our drugstore makeup look. Uh, I want to thank you for everybody that tuned in and commented on the vlog video that I posted. So yes, so thank you guys for tuning in. And like I said, we're going to be doing the makeup look. Before I begin, I just want to send a special shout out to all of my ladies down in Houston that ex that is experiencing all of this troublesome weather my thoughts and prayers are with you guys and i plead the blood of jesus for your safety and all of that so like i said you guys are in my thoughts and prayers okay but let's jump into the video so like i said i will be doing an affordable drugstore makeup look you all love when i did the beauty supply makeup look so i decided to do the drugstore makeup look okay so first i'm going to start off with my face my face is pre-cleansed i moisturized it toned it and all of that so this is how it looks and i'm going to start off with our foundation we will be using wet and wow this is their photo focus foundation and this is in the color mahogany okay and i am going to use the wet and wow stipple brush to apply it so i'm just going to open it okay so I am applying my foundation. I'm just going to do it like that. And I'm not going to start off with a lot because this is my first time using this foundation. So I don't know how the coverage is yet. But I'm going to take my stipple brush and I'm just going to blend it in. And I've heard great things about this foundation. I've heard that it covers really, really well. Okay. And off bat, I am noticing that on camera it is coming up a little red, but it is going to oxidize as always with my body chemistry. And it'll turn out to my right color. So I'm just going to get this foundation blended all the way in okay ladies so I am done blending out the foundation and it has been a couple of minutes and as you guys can see it has warmed up to my body chemistry and it actually oxidized to my color so next I'm going to take the setting powder from wet n wow and this is the color dark cafe so I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and I'm just going to set that liquid with it. And I'm going to go all over my face with it. And this brush that I'm using, this is also a drugstore brush. I didn't pick this up. I got this brush, brush last year. But it's from Revlon. It's their big powder brush. So I'm just using that to set the foundation. Okay. So next I'm going to take... This concealer from Wet n Wild. This is the color medium to deep tan. And I'm going to use this and I'm going to highlight under my eyes with it. Okay. So I'm just going to put just a little up under my eyes. Like that. And I'm going to put some over here. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my blending sponge I have my highlight blended out next I'm going to set it with the Maybelline fit me in the loose powder this is in a color medium deep so I'm going to open it just so you guys can see how it looks and I kind of shook it a little bit Okay, so I'm going to take my same sponge that I blended the highlight out with and I'm just going to dip it into the powder and we're just going to set the concealer. Okay, and the highlight is optional. You don't necessarily have to do this, but you guys know I like to be highlighted in contour. Next, I will be taking this 
contour as well. This isn't a contour stick. This is actually a concealer stick. But this is from Black Radiance. And this is in the color dark. And I'm going to apply that to my cheeks. To contour with. And then I'm going to take that same sponge. And I'm just going to use the butt of it. And I'm going to blend it out. I have my face contour blended out so next I'm going to sculpt in my brow so I'm just using that dark brown from Jordana and I'm just going to use that to sculpt my brows the brows sculpt well filled in with the pencil so I'm just going to take that same concealer that I highlighted with and I'm going to put some on my angle brush and I'm just going to clean up my brows with it and then I'm going to go across the top with it and then I'm just going to blend it out Okay, so I have my brows blended out. Next, I'm going to take the two con concealer, I keep calling them contour sticks. But I'm going to take the two concealer sticks that I picked up from Black Radiance, the same dark one that I use to contour my sides. I'm going to go down the edge of my nose with it. Just like that. And then I'm going to take the lighter one and go down the center of my nose. And then I'm just going to blend everything out for my nose contour. So I have the nose contour blended out. Alright, next let's start on our eyeshadow look. So I will be taking this color tattoo from Maybelline. This is in the color Barely Branded. I called it, I, I thought it was called Beige, but Barely Branded. And I'm going to put that on my eyelid. Okay, so I have the color tattoo applied on both of my eyelids. So I will be taking this eyeshadow palette from Maybelline. I'm going to be taking that pinkish rose gold color right there. And I'm going to apply that to my lids. But first, let me show you guys how pigmented this palette is I don't know if you can see that brown and then I'm just going to take that rose gold I don't know if you can see that but it's very pigmented let me try to put it on the back of my hand so you guys can see you probably can't see the light is washing it out but it's very pigmented I had to turn down the light because I want you to guys to really see how pigmented this palette is this color is so so pretty so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna turn the light back up and I'm going to continue with my left eye I have the both of the eyes done so out of that palette I'm going to take this chocolate right here this brown and I'm going to take a blending brush from wet n wild that I picked up from the drugstore and I'm just gonna blend out both of my lids with it so I'm gonna put this right in the crease and I'm just gonna go back and forth with it to blend it out okay so I blended out both of my eye creases with that brown and then I lined the top of my eyes with this wet n wild liquid black liner and then I line the lower, my lower uh, eyes with this Milani Black Supreme Cold Cagile Eyeliner. Okay. So next I'm going to take this mascara from Black Radiance. It is called Body Building Mascara. And I'm just going to put that on my top. 
and bottom lashes and then I'm also going to apply my false lashes as well so I'm just going to get those lashes plump with this mascara okay so now I have the lashes on and now I'm just going to dust away this powder underneath my eye I will be taking my uh, contour palette from Black Radiance and I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to put some on a powder brush and I'm just going to use that to dust away this powder under my eye and I'm going to do that to both sides. So I'm just going to dust away that powder like so. Okay, so I dusted away the powder and next I'm going to go into that palette and I'm going to take that brown color and I'm just going to set that on top of the contour, the cream contour. And that's basically just going to lock that cream in place. Okay, now it is blush time. And blush is very optional, but I love me a good, pretty blush. So I am using this e.l.f. palette. And this is in the dark. And I'm using this color right here. So I'm just going to warm my cheeks up with that blush. Yes. Okay, so now that we have the blush applied, let's go in and apply our highlighter. And this is from Wet n Wow. This is uh, in the color Precious Petals. And I've used this before and this is so pretty, y'all. So I'm going to just put it right on my cheekbones. And highlighter is optional. It just gives you that extra glow. With the highlighter and I put just a little bit on my nose to accentuate my nose contour so now we're going to be doing the lips and I'm going to be taking this liquid lipstick from Wet n Wild this is called Goth Topic and I'm going to put it on my lips on the outer part of my lips And then I'm going to blend it. Okay, so I have that first color blended out on my outer lips. And then I'm going to take this second color from Wet n Wild as well. And this is called Rebel Rose. And I'm going to put that in the center of my lips. Just like this. And I'm going to blend it and I'm going to let it dry. And this dries pretty fast because this is a liquid lipstick. So I'm just going to let that dry. Okay, so that's how it looks. Both of the liquid lipsticks have dried. But. I'm going to kick it up a notch because in our eyeshadow palette, this little frosted color right here, I want to take that and I'm going to put that on top of my lips. Just to give the lips more of a frosted look. gives it more of more of a metallic type of feel all right ladies I'm back and I just had to fluff out my hair if you loving my hair don't forget to check out my video on the braidless crochet hairstyle that is what I'm rocking but back to the makeup I hope you ladies enjoyed this video because I certainly am loving this look. I love how it turned out. The foundation, I give it an A+. 
I was very surprised by, by the coverage, especially for the price. It was very, very affordable. So all of the products that I used in this video, you can find them at your local drugstore. And if not the drugstore, you can find them at your local Walmart, Target, or Kmart. Okay? So I want to thank you ladies for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.